Hello, this is Susan Ashley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanted to just have a quick chat with you about some more things that Cassandra has said. Uh, one of them is that these, uh, she spoke about the five governing, let's say, families or um, energies on the planet, which are, uh, we've spoken about many times. So it's um, religion, media, education, science, medicine, uh, government and finances, right? And um, so she said that they were working independently and then they would join together, which they have now. And now what's happening is they're infighting. So there's a lot of infighting going on in these circles because obviously they decided to, you, you never make a deal with the devil because they always renege on the deal, right? So when you're dealing with unethical people, you can't actually trust their word, nor can you trust the agreement that you made, even if it's a, a piece of paper contract kind of thing. So, you know, they've made these agreements, but now there's an infighting around who has the absolute power. And what's also happening is, because we're coming to that end of the period of grace, and also what that denotes also is a time where you have to choose what side of the fence you're going to be on, dark or light, right or wrong. So these people who engage in it with these uh, governing um, families, these people who were paid off, so politicians, doctors, lawyers, um, educators, media, they were paid off to participate in this, not knowing how far it was going to go. So a lot of those people are now going to turn around and say, hey, I didn't sign up for this and realize that once all of these people are gone, they'll come after them. You see, they're realizing, okay, they, they don't keep their word. They're not true to who they are. I cannot, I don't have certainty with these um, mongrels. So I need to really fess up. So a lot of people are going to start either whistleblowing or fessing up to the truth or, you know, um, unfortunately deciding to leave the planet because they feel so much shame and guilt. Um, because when they start witnessing the infighting, which has already happened, they're going to get edgy and they're going to think, wow, well, how can we protect ourselves? The only way they can protect themselves is to be honest with the people because if it goes too long, people will never forgive them. They will want justice. At this point, um, because we're still living in this energy of duality, there is a little bit of wiggle room for them to move from one side to the other. But come March, there won't be any wiggle room. You'll have to choose what side of the fence you want to be on. Who do you stand with? Do you stand for justice? Do you stand for integrity, morality, for peace and love? Or do you stand for absolute destruction, disempowerment, uh, manipulation, control, etc.? So you're going to find that a lot more people are going to stand for the good stuff. And we will discover that there's probably... Um, I always get this number, I get 3,000. There's around 3,000 leaders that are um, formulating all of this. So when you think, how many do we have? Uh, seven and a half billion people versus 3,000. Well, yeah. And I also feel that once people make the decision to say no to... Um, these injections and things like that, there will start to be more cures coming. I've heard some different ones, and I think that some of them work quite well, depending on which one you had. Um, I know of one particular product that I feel is a must, 100%, regardless of whether you did it or you didn't do it, because our immune systems need to be really strong at the moment to combat everything that's coming at us. It's not just that, it's also the nanoparticles and heavy metals in the air, in the water, on the food, um, you know, it's everything. So I think you need to keep a strong immune system, but because our consciousness is changing, there will be an antidote to undo the um, genetic interference. 
I feel this will come about. Um, now, I find it interesting that we are on the precipice of opening up our DNA to reverting back to 12 strand. So what did they do? They started playing with the DNA. Um, we are on the precipice of unity consciousness, understanding that male and female have, have particular roles and to look at their strengths and honor what they came to do here with regards to their principles, the governing energies that govern that. So what did they do? They brought in the transgender stuff to confuse people when really we should be gaining more clarity about what gender we've chose to represent in this lifetime. So there's, there's that. Everything gets inverted, everything. So when you think about we are helping you with your health, but actually what we're doing is destroying it, right? So they are preventing people from telling the truth and providing amazing products so that we can remain healthy and supported during this time. So they're doing this sort of stuff as well. Um, I mean, the list goes on of what they're doing. I mean, I, I, every day I see something else and I go, oh my goodness, yes, that's another aspect of it, where they're inverting everything. Uh, that good, that, that bad is good and good is bad, you know? It's, it's like that. So if we say anything about um, any of their rubbish, then we're labelled with different names, which is actually what they are, but we get labelled with it. So yeah, there is a lot going on, but this infighting has started and it's going to come to some sort of crescendo, I would say by the middle of the year. And um, we're gonna see a lot of things turn around. So hang in there, there is hope and we are going to come together as a human race, not as, um, a different religion or colored race or something like that. I'm talking as a human race, everyone coming together. And a lot of countries are starting to see that, yes, they agreed to all of this, but they're actually starting to see the truth of it, the real devastation. And what that means to them, particularly the smaller countries, because there's a patriotism that's rising. And so now these leaders are starting to realize, oh my goodness, you know, yes, I agreed to this, but what does it mean? It means that my country no longer has an energetic signature or representative on the planet because they'll all be dead. So who am I going to rule over, right? So they're starting to see, actually, that was silly that what I did because I won't have any power over dead people and I'm destroying my own country. So they're starting to become more patriotic. And I feel that this is also a good thing. Now, there's nothing wrong with being patriotic as long as you're not against another nation. So that's what I mean by we are going to start coming together in the truth of unity consciousness. What happened in Turkey and Syria is terrible. But if we give money to government, for, you know, governments give it for aid, but it never gets there. We saw that with Haiti. Uh, so you're better off contacting someone who's on the ground there and giving to them to ensure that the money actually goes. So if you have family that you know are honest, that will help their neighbors, then give to them. If you know of someone who has a family member that's there or um, someone who runs a small orphanage or something like that, we can, we can give to them rather than these big companies, big NGOs and things because that the money doesn't go to the people, really doesn't. So this is important. And also our prayers and to send love and peace to them, that the truth be come out, come out about what happened. And also that no children are taken from this country because when they create tragedies like this, they remove a lot of children because their parents die, but also the children mysteriously go missing. They just say, oh, they died under the rubble when really they weren't, they've taken them. So we need to also pray and send energy for that to be prevented as much as possible. Um, remain in your truth. That's the most important thing. Listen to your body and what your own body knowing tells you. Everything has been about taking our attention away from ourselves and putting it outside of ourselves. So putting it outside as 
we represent a gender, we represent a culture, we represent a religion. No, we are all beautiful spiritual beings that, you know, 99.9% .9 of us just want a nice life. We want to be able to provide for our children, have clean, fresh air, fresh water, a peaceful life. We, we don't want much more than that. So, you know, we want to share our creativity, our knowledge, have an imprint upon our community. However, you know, most of us want peace. So when we go outside of ourselves, because that's what the media and education is trying to tell us to do, then we're not listening to what we really want. We're listening to what they want us to want, which is separation, pain, misery, and everything else. And the other thing that I'm also noticing, uh, spoke about in the meditation, I'm gonna start doing more work on this in the meditations, and that is the vibration of finances, the vibration of wealth, prosperity. Um, there's there's a, a big dark shift being placed in that energy. So a lot of people are feeling, even though they have the same amount, they feel like they have less. They're starting to get worried again about finances, um, feeling nervous about it, anxious about it. So I'd like to do some work on um, re-energizing the cash circulation. Uh, and that's done energetically by connecting with the abundance plane, which is a plane of existence. Uh, everything, you know, within the mental and emotional planes, there's a lot of planes of existence that represent certain energy frequencies. So one will be for sadness, the other one will be joy, you know. So everybody who feels joy connects with that plane of existence. How long you stay connected to that joy is entirely up to you in a lot of ways but because you get pulled down into the to the um, plane of existence around perhaps feeling down or being afraid or feeling doubt or uncertainty you know the only thing you can guarantee in this life is that things will change and everything is uncertain there is no certainty there's no perfection there's no end of the line because it just keeps going and going and going we are constantly in a motion of creation and cycles of life and death. We have things leave our life and then things reborn in our life, you know? So this is a constant cycle that we can be certain of. So if you're looking for certainty as a solid thing that stays with you for the rest of your life, it's not gonna happen. So get used to that feeling that nothing, nothing is 100% certain, nothing. Everything is always changing, but for now, if you feel good, then what you require to continue feeling good will come into your life. It's all about riding these planes of existence and understanding that your energy can actually do this, but you've been taught it can't. You've been taught that you're powerless. Anyway, if you want to, uh, you know, really take control of this in some way, then join the meditation groups. Just go to my, it's very easy. You just go to my website, lovelightandtruth.com, scroll down the front page to Ignite the Light and click on the Zoom link and be there Saturday, 9 a.m. Paris time. Every Saturday, we're there. And we create a beautiful group of energy and we concentrate on different things at different times. But I've been told this morning that um, we need to start creating on, uh, concentrating on the abundance side of things or prosperity and wealth specifically cash the energy of money so uh, we will do that and also I would say um, it's important to understand your power that you you can actually ride those planes of existence and choose which one you're going to be in and when you get find yourself stuck in one that's not agreeable to your true nature you know, figure out ways to get out of it. And one way to get out of it is to sing and dance. You know, I sing things to me in manifestation. I'll often make up a song about things and that seems to work and it's worked for ancient cultures as well. So, you know, look, look inward rather than outward. And inward, we are peaceful, we're fine. And then we start to see people from that vibration. Anyway, I will say goodbye and wish you a beautiful day. 
but hang in there because it's all going to be fine. We are going to have solutions to these tragedies that have happened, but what, how we get there is by saying no to what they want us to create for them and saying yes to what we want to create, yes to what we believe in ourselves. And from that, the solution will come. You know, because a lot of people would say, I just know that I don't want that. I don't want that. I say, okay, what do you want? Well, this is what I want, but I don't know how to get it. I say, don't bother with the how. You know, the how, universe knows. The universe knows the how. The how will be presented to you as an opportunity, an insight, um, a friendly conversation. The how will be presented to you. So don't concentrate on the how. Just concentrate on what it is that you actually believe to be right for you. For you. Yeah? Not what's right for everybody else, what's right for you. What would make you feel good. So I will love you and leave you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and do all of that and share these and um, send a message to me. Bye for now. Lots of love.